Hi, my name is David Bosley. I'm the president and founder of Cast Lighting. I'd like to spend the next few minutes going over with you how to assemble a transformer mounting stand using pressure treated lumber. Some installations, you just can't mount a transformer to the exterior of a house. If you have custom stonework, brick, stucco, it just won't look right and I don't think your customer is going to be happy having this large transformer mounted to the outside of their house. So this is what you have to do to put it in properly. We're going to take a few minutes going over it. It's very, 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 very simple to do this. The instructions for assembling the transformer mounting stand is illustrated on page 17 of our hands-on manual. It just takes a few tools such as a circular saw, a drill, and a, and a ratchet drive and you can put this together quite simply for the cost of about $30 or $40. Very easy. All you have to do is read the instructions. Okay, let's take a second and go over the materials you're going to need to accomplish this task. First off, you're going to need eight two and a half inch, three eighths galvanized lag bolts. And with that, you're going to need eight three eighth washers. Now let's talk about the lumber you're going to need. We use pressure treated lumber. You're going to need two sections, four by four, that are 68 inches long. And because we're mounting two transformers, we need two sections, 24 inches long, of one by 12 inch pressure treated lumber. So what we have to do is quite simply, and I'm sure you're all used to this, we're gonna have to measure out with our tape measure 68 inches on the four by fours. This one happens to be cut already. And then simply measure 68 inches on the next, score it. And then with our T-square, mark the line. We're going to do the same thing with our 2 by 12 lumber. At 24 inches, we're going to score a line. And we're going to cut that with a circular saw. Okay, before we use any electric saws, you have to make sure you put on your safety glasses. Last but not least. Okay, now that we have the first 24 inch section cut, we're gonna lay that on top of the remaining board. We wanna make sure that they line up properly and now we we're going to score for the next cut. Okay. Well, we're done with the saws. And now we're going to move to assembling the stand. Okay, the first step in assembling your transformer mounting stand is we place our two 68 inch 4x4 upright posts. We space them 12, space 12 inches apart, both on the top and on the bottom. And then we have, this is the front piece. We're going to, we're going to center these the front pieces so that they roughly the overhang the overhang is roughly two and a half inches on both sides then what we're going to do is we're going to drill one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes. We're going to countersink those holes and then we're going to lag these front sections to the back 4x4 upright posts. Okay, now we have to drill four holes in each two foot section of the uh, 2x12 in order to hold this to the 4x4 uprights. So what, what, what we did is four inches from the edge in puts us dead center on the 4x4 post. We want to break this into thirds because this is 12 inches long or wide. We want to go 4, 8, 12. So we're breaking this into the thirds. So we're going to take 4 inches from the bottom and 4 inches from the side. And then on the other end, we're going to be at 8 inches and 4 inches. So it perfectly centers the lag bolts. We're going to do that on all uh, four spots. Okay, now we drill the holes with a quarter inch drill bit. What I like to do is actually put my first lag bolt in so that nothing moves when I do my drilling. So we drill our first pilot hole, quarter inch, and then we get a flare countersink bit. Now what we need is a counter, this is a one inch countersink bit. I think they call it a flare bit. Then we take our lag bolt. We tie it all together. Okay, we like to countersink it so the transformer lays uh, countersink it so the transformer lays flush against the uh, against the wood. Okay, so now we're off and running. We're going to work our way uh, up both sides of the stand. Now we just have to lag bolt it. It's just going to take a little bit of elbow, elbow grease in a few minutes, and this, will, this, this stand will be done. Gotta love these Craftsman tools. Okay, well that's the last lag bolt. Make sure it's good and tight and it's countersunk. So again, the transformers lay flush against the lumber here. Make sure they're all nice and tight. Okay, well there you have it. Let's show you what it looks like. Let's stand it up. What the transformer mounting stand looks like. It's pretty heavy, but we're going to be mounting this about two feet in the ground, and the transformers are going to sit right up against that off the house. Makes for a real professional installation, something you'll be proud of, something your customer is going to see. It's a reflection of you and your company and the quality work that you do.